This is Karthik from Graphic. Today I will show you how to install and use glitch and distortion presets in Adobe Premiere Pro. So first, download these zip files from a link in the description. This zip file consists only the glitch audios and this is not a preset, and this is the glitch preset file. Extract this preset file, and I had already extracted it. This is our preset file. Now open Adobe Premiere Pro, and at window, make sure you are checked effects panel. And open effects here. Here right click, and select import presets. Now you have these folders. Open the preset folder. Select the file, and click open. Now at presets folder open the drop down menu. Here you have our glitch and distortion pack, open the folder. Now you see these two preset folder. These are the glitch and distortion presets. Drag these effects onto your clips to use. Now I had imported my footages here on my timeline. Firstly I will show you with these 5 presets. At first, I will drag it on the clip. This is how it looks. And the other one. These 5 glitches are for the short period of time like 1 or 2 seconds. And you can use these for your lower thirds. And the second 5 glitches are for longer period of time. And these presets work on these key frames, that you are seeing in the control panel. Now I will add the second preset. If you see this red colored line here, it should be rendered, so, press enter to render it. And this is my favorite distortion preset. Now I want to add distortion at the middle of the video. So, select the razor tool and cut the clip where you wanted to add the distortion and drag the preset at the clip you want. Now this is how it looks. As I told earlier these first 5 glitches looks good for lower thirds. And these glitches can be used for the text layers also. Now I will drag, my text layer here. Simply drag glitch preset over it. This is how it looks. This effect looks good to me. And I will provide download link for this font in the video description if this video reaches 100 likes. If you place video clips one above the other, and adding preset to the top layer. 
you can actually see the visibility of the below layer while glitch is taking place. Like this. Now I had imported this video. If you wanted to add distortion between two video clips, then simply select the razor tool and trim the adjacent clips like this. Select those two layers and right click on it. Select nest and give a name for that sequence. Now both the trimmed clips were nested. Now add glitch preset to it. This is how it looks. Try placing the video clips one above the other, it will give great effects. For audio effects use the audio files that I had provided in the description. And trim the audio, where glitch preset were applied. Thanks for watching and happy Christmas. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter to get all my future updates. And don't forget to subscribe.